Inflate. Okay. It's not already being subsidized. Why can I not click this button? Hmm? Is it because I'm not bigger than the next two combined? No, yes, I am. So I'm honestly not too sure why we cannot start military subsidies. Is it because I'm already subsidizing Albania? I mean, that might be it. That, that seems entirely possible. Yes, we got the Death of Stalin. He's a third party of labor. Stack the party with Hoxha Loyalist. I mean, do, do any of you guys... Free Soviet trade. The invasion of Laos. Hey, okay. see that North Vietnamese Vietnam has seized the district being the DMZ between North and South of Vietnam. Hanoi claims that the village has historically been part of Vietnam for centuries. And soon enough, widespread fighting is all over the North Vietnamese Laos border. And the execution of Nasser. So Nasser is dead, so any trade with him probably is not likely. Because I feel like um this area here, I feel like Hanoi is supposed to be part of North Vietnam. I'm not too sure why that's not the case. I can apply to join NATO. I'm gonna say no to that though. At least for the time being. Okay, we purge crop party members. You give us. You give us political power. I guess we'll end religious persecution first. Under political power on you. I, I really wish I'd be doing this, but. Yeah, you don't actually do much for us. So just give me more influence. That's the 58%. So, we still we don't know what they're doing. We built Stalingrad. Enact a complete embargo against Yugoslavia. Seems a little bit rude, if you ask me. Why is that? Why that's um not Ace Ventura. What what's the what's the name? Ace Attorney. Apparently he's up here. That's Kusha. They need to in, uh, investigate Beer and Kusha activities. It does give him a lot of political power loss. What is their plan? I don't really know. A little suspicious, if you ask me. Okay, they're withdrawing from NATO. It looks like they're not actually even in NATO, so they're one step ahead of themselves. I mean, they still have Somalia. I mean, I'm guessing they're probably going to release that afterwards. I actually don't even know. Pretty of Paris, pros of election reforms, women's rights. Condemn Yugoslavia. What have I done? Gonna condemn me? These are all decently long. Like 50 days is not, it's not a quick, um, not a quick focus. I usually consider like 35 days be the quick folks is there. Give me two points. So I go up to 62%. Are you going to take me down another point? You're not. Or well, we're getting closer. If Khrushchev was to take over. Maybe things would, uh... Factional infighting within the party. Romania, are you gonna leave the country? Are you gonna leave? That's a campaign launch for the Rosenbergs. Now, what are you gonna do? Are you going to... Okay, they've signed an armistice agreement. So, basically, nothing has really changed whatsoever. Other than the fact that, like, 4 million Koreans are dead. We'll see how they end up uh, playing that out. 
It's straight propaganda. We don't we still don't know what you're doing. Okay, Italy is withdrawn from NATO. The plan of the Afghan royal family. The end of Spanish isolation. Wait, are you guys at war again? No. I think the event just bugged out. That's okay. Okay, they're going to empower labor unions. They've left NATO. Yeah, I, I don't know why they did not unify. It, it, it seems like a thing that they should have done by now. Anti-air, tank destroyer 2. Eh, yeah, frick it. Let's go tank destroyer 2. Okay, we've ended religious persecution. Follow that up with... I mean, you, you are pretty good. Allow free speech, which gives us a little bit of political power gain. You'll give us a little bit more stability, so I guess we'll abandon state atheism. You get a little bit of monarchy support, actually. More monarchy support than you would uh, expect. Okay, we're not 95 billion. Again, the economy's going up and up and up. But imagine how much more up and up and up it could go if we also integrated Albania and Bulgaria. Hmm? It'd be looking pretty good, I would say. Just a hunch. Okay, so I still don't know. We still don't know who's taken over yet. But also, I don't think they're investigating uh, Beery and Crucia's activities quite yet either. Let me bury Malenkov. Or for Malenkov's resignation. Like, what's, what's America doing? We've been so focused in our kind of little section of the planet. We haven't even been looking at America. The affirm localizes. Like, they're mostly, I think, going to be going through, you know, the historical route with, um, with Eisenhower. Even though they have actually not done a single Eisenhower focused quite, quite yet. It looks like the social liberals did end up winning the 53 Canadian election. You can expand the Taylor Woodrow markets. France. Kind of is doing their own thing, but Spain is no longer completely politically isolated. Are you in NATO? Not yet. I, th I think they can join NATO at some point. Latin America ties. I mean, what about like the United Nations? I guess we could like start a resolution. Request intervention. Request state. I mean, you don't. You're not cores of us, unfortunately. Let's let's push something through just because it could be fun. Uh, request peacekeeping, request mediation, release nation. Okay, you declare war on Vietnam. Let's let's do a human rights violation in. Let's say Iran. Why not? Uh, I gotta find him in a list. We'll see if the world agrees with me. Ethiopian Empire, King of Saudi Arabia. You know, let's do, let. We actually let, let, let let's do Spain. I think Spain would make sense. Uh. Target Spain. Who wants to vote against? 52, 52 people voted yes. One person said no. Who said no? Can we see that? No. It just shows that, that one person vote yes. Oh, the American said no. Everyone else said yes. But I don't think they're going to veto it. And El Salvador, Dominican Republic, and Cedar Euro are all abstaining. But there we go. Everyone wants to condemn the Spanish. Okay, influence you a little bit more. 67%. We have two more ticks here as well. Wait, maybe we have two more ticks. Okay, we don't have two more ticks. We're now at 69%. We're getting closer by the day. Perform the S 
AJ. We get a new event. We change party of socialism by 25%. Yeah, so now we condemn Spanish human rights violations. Take that, Spain. You also have war with Laos and Cambodia and uh, South Vietnam. We'll see how this goes for you. You also have war with the United States. And you're also then at war, I think, with the entirety of the French, yeah, the French Empire. So we'll see if Vietnam can end up winning this war. My, my gut says no. Just because they don't have that many men on their side, but you never know. They, they could pull out a surprising victory here. Okay, the assassination of Kim Koo. Uh, nationalism in the public free as anything as prominent advocate Kim Koo assassinated today. Going to police, uh, An Dude He, the 10 of the ROK army, burst inside the residence of Kim Koo and shot him four times. Okay, so I think that means we are still regular conservative. Elections 52, they didn't elect, uh, you. America's condemned the Hulksa regime. Are you independent? Not yet. You should, though. You should do the third party uh, Congress, get the Hoxha loyalist, defy the Soviet Union, and then continue Stalinist purges, or policies, let's just say, which makes you Maoist and kicks you out of the uh, common form. Why is it led by. Oh my god, what's his name? Gee, I can't remember what his name is. It's the guy that played the general in fucking Red Alert 3. Why is he here? That's not... Okay, so apparently they they purged Khrushchev, I'm assuming. Yeah, they, they purged Khrushchev. Who, what's his name? I, I should know his name. Who played the Red Alert 3... General. Tim Curry, yeah, that's his name. Why why is he now the leader of the Soviet Union? I got some I got some questions to ask about that. Okay, well here, we're gonna do a little bit more influencing here. Then we'll get three ticks out of this. That might put us up to 75. Oh no, we have no FPP. We gained 0.5, so actually it's gonna take us a little while. I'm not used to not having FPP. You play as United States, you play as Soviet Union, you just get like a ton of FPP no matter what. And it's monthly, right? It is. Very rare actually that anything in um in Hoi 4 is monthly. Okay, research slot, let's go for. Let's go for the television. The 15% uh, office park outcome. And now Belgian Congo is at war with Democratic Republic of the Congo. We'll see who ends up winning in that fight. Who are you? You're a loud people Democratic Republic. Okay. Just kind of hanging out. But looks like Vietnam is winning their war. And Mirlian Dilla is critiquing the Soviet bureaucratism. President Mila Dilas uh, recently published a series of articles critiquing the Soviet model and suggesting a democratic reform to the current one-party system. This latter matter, uh, this later critique led to a Senate committee meeting discussing. Uh, did we already know about this event? Uh, the new reforms were will re uh, relax strict party discipline regulations, open a way for more open debate within the party. It also calls for officials to be rotated from senior uh, posts and retire over time in order to root out corruption and prevent a monopolization of power. Okay. We will then allow a little bit of free speech. Albania, Bulgaria. I mean, how many, what are we at? We're at 0.9. Okay, I mean, you know what? Give me a quick uh, thing here, and then we're going to integrate Bulgaria. I'm assuming the Soviet Union is also going to say no to this one. Just a hunch. They refuse, but we will also get a war goal against you. Again, just in case... Just in case you want to be on my side. Like, I think I think it could work. Potentially. Okay, spread our forces out a little bit more. 
We got a lot of Soviet forces on our border. They're very, very upset with the the route I've taken here. Let's just put it that way. But like, what did you want me to do, Tim Curry? Leader of the Soviet Union? There's nothing I could do about it. Like, I, I still don't know why they've chosen that image. Like, I find that to be very strange. Like, why not a picture of Beria or Malikov together? I'm sure a picture of that exists. Like, why do you gotta do, like, this weird, like, roundabout way to do it? I don't really know. But now we, we've done that. I guess we can spend an influence somewhere else now. I don't really know where we would. What about Entreast? We have 45% support there. Influence Nation, pay off debt. Apparently they're $52 billion in debt. How the hell did that happen? Okay. So the king of Saudi Arabia has passed away. They've got a new king. That's completely a-okay. I don't think we really care too much about what Saudi Arabia is doing. Uh, you are tactical bombers. So we'll upgrade you. What do we want to research next? Give, give, me, give me, um, strategic bombers. That seems okay. We could spend more propaganda in Albania as well. Economic aid, manipulate politics. Ask a joint faction, negotiate licenses. You guys really don't like us, huh? But it's not... It's not like we can just invade the Soviets, right? I don't think so. I'm not too sure. Albania's a virgin, five-year plan. I don't think Albania wants to negotiate, like, doesn't want to do what we want them to do. As unfortunate as that is, I think it would be nice. Okay, Laos is capitulated to the Vietnamese. Give me 5% more stability, thank you. Yeah, I think Vietnam's just going to win. Basically, without... I mean, are you getting volunteers from anybody? No. Nobody nobody wants to have a Vietnam in their war. At least not yet. We could increase education, public services. It's, it's very expensive. We could get state unions. Which I think is what we already have. Maybe? And we're pro-union. Yeah, sure. Okay. But whatever you say, game. I don't know why there's two laid up. But I think you can only have one at a time. So you guys are taking attrition. Bad supply. I mean, I guess we could build a supply hub right here. And it's actually cheaper than most things in this mod, because the mod increases prices by quite a bit, actually. I mean, what we could also do is just increase... we have trucks for this? Yeah, easily. Yeah, no, we actually have a ton of them. Okay. You still have bad supply? It looks like the answer is yes. But I I just I just want to take Bulgaria and I I just want to take Bulgaria and Yugoslavia. Is that really so much to ask? Is that really such a big deal, Moscow? I don't think so. 
I think I should be allowed to have them. But no. No, says the man in Moscow. You're not allowed to annex Albania and Bulgaria. Disappointing, uh, to say the least. You're not in NATO. France is in NATO. Italy is not in NATO.